Hey guys, what's up? It's Sandy Roy here and I'm gonna teach you today signals and system. So first thing comes to our mind that what is signal? So signal is a graphical representation which contains information in a circuit form as a function of one or more variable. So now what are the classification of signals? So there are totally six kind of signals which are divided as continuous and discrete. So what is a continuous signal? Continuous signal it is a where the amplitude of the signal exists at any instant of time. For example, uh, if you can say, if I draw a graph, this is a continuous signal where the x coordinates are of time and this is the amplitude or you can say voltage. And discrete. What is a discrete signal where amplitude exists at a particular instant of time? That means if this is the time axis, then the signal appears kind of like this. And this is the amplitude. So now we go for even and odd signals. So for even signals, signals are which amplitude are same in both positive and negative sides like for example if you consider a signal like this if the positive time axis contain a signal in this way then the negative time signal also will have the same thing where the amplitude is same both amplitudes are same so this is a even signal this is the positive size suppose for example plus 2 this is minus 2 so for odd signal, what we have is the signal which has opposite amplitude both in positive and negative time. So if this is the signal in the positive side of time and this is the amplitude, then the negative signal that in the negative uh, term, uh, interval, the signal will be in this way. This is minus 2 and this is known as an odd signal where the amplitude are same it is if it is 2 then it is also minus 2 periodic and non periodic signals what are periodic and non periodic signals periodic signals signals which amplitude repeat at a regular interval of time and non periodic signal whose amplitude do not repeat at a regular interval of time so you can say that for a periodic signal uh, if you take an example this is a signal which whose amplitude is getting repeated in each and every instance of time suppose this is one two three and this is the time axis then at every point five one point five two point five three point five the amplitude is equal or you can say in every one seconds the amplitude is equal it is zero so this is a periodic signal non periodic signal uh, whose amplitude does not repeat at a regular instant of time for example if you consider this signal this is a signal whose amplitude doesn't repeat for a regular interval of time so it is a non periodic signal so now we go for the next type of signals those are energy and power signals so signal which have finite energy that is e varies from 0 to infinity that is the energy varies from 0 to infinity is known as energy signal the formula of an energy signal can be given as e is equal to that is energy is equal to integral of minus infinity to infinity where time varies from minus infinity to infinity plus infinity x of t square dt where x of t is the signal for a continuous signal x of t is a continuous signal for a discrete signal x of n is a discrete signal so here e will be that is the energy will be epsilon n equal to summation of n where n varies from minus infinity to infinity 
x square n and this is small n sorry yeah this is for a discrete signal now power signals are those which have finite average power so for finite average power that means power is equal to average power is equal to it should be between 0 to infinity so power average power equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t x square of t dt for continuous signal that means for a continuous signal x of t the average power is given by this formula so p average formula for a discrete signal for a discrete signal it is given by 1 by n where uh, <coughs> summation of n varies from n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n for a discrete signal so now we will jump right to the fifth type of signal that is real and complex signal so what are real signals real and complex signals real signal these are the signal which have real value as its amplitude and has no phase difference so this is known as a real signal where the signal have a real value at its amplitude so now we'll go for the complex signal what is a complex signal this has a complex value at its amplitude and it has phase delay in circuit so <clears throat> these are the real and complex signals now we'll go for deterministic and random signals signals whose amplitude cannot be predicted before its actual occurrence this is known as random signal deterministic signal signal where amplitude can be predicted before its equal occurrence is said to be deterministic signal so now for example deterministic signal can be uh, your ECG right that means we can determine what should be what should be the next incoming thing if you are a healthy man then your ECG will be kind of like this I'm not so sure about it but I'm just giving you an example like uh, doctors can predict the ECG of a normal person like how will be the ECG of a normal person for a heart patient suppose he is in hospital and suddenly he have an attack then his ECG cannot be predicted so if this is his normal ECG and suddenly it went down so this is a random signal where the amplitude cannot be predicted before its actual occurrence so <clears throat> these are the types of signal uh, for the next video I'm going to do how to sketch signals which is very important and it's very easy also but uh, I hope that you all understand very nicely then give me comments um, where should I improve myself because at its as it is my first video so I just need your support so thank you good night